Hello and welcome, my name is Parkins to play some more Mad Game Tycoon. Last time what happened was we put down this room in the middle of the building. Now this means that basically we can now do our quality assurance, fix all those bugs that we create on the games as we go through the new technologies that we're not quite used to yet. So one of the major things that you guys said that you wanted me to do this episode was to actually expand our garage. Now as you can see we're actually not making any money and if you remember we've actually borrowed a hell of a lot of money already. We're ready about... Oh, well, well, to be fair, we've got 8.25 credit limit. Our current credit is about 500,000, which isn't great. But we're going to borrow more money because we're going to expand today. Ah, oh, yeah. Right, okay. So let's get the property thing up. We're going to go for a large garage. Oh, yes. There we go. Perfect. You've now bought a bigger office. Since you have more space, now you should build training room to train your employees. Okay, so it's actually removed all of our rooms that we had before. That's interesting. Right, so you just have to go in between the different stages. I didn't quite realise that. But what we're going to do is, in fact, before we do this, let's just pause quickly so I can talk about everything. One other thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a bigger development room because we need to start hiring more people. Basically, this star rating up here is apparently quite useful and important when it comes to actually creating your games and how well they do. So that's one big thing that we're going to do. So let's just build a new room. We're going to get a development room. It's going to be the biggest room. We're going to get... Maybe this big? Yeah, I think that seems good. 7 by 4? Yeah, okay, fine. And this is all eating into our money, unfortunately, but there's not much we can do about it. And I think we're going to put down a door like that. So this is going to allow us to put in a couple more desks than normal. We're maybe going to go for slightly better desks this time, just because why the hell not? Oh god, these are massive. Okay, well I suppose we can just go for these. It doesn't matter too much, does it? Unfortunately, they don't slot right next to each other, which is going to make it a bit difficult for us. But we're going to put one here like that, one like that, and also, can we fit one more in? We can. There's not, <laughs> there's not much room in here, but it's okay. So that's fine. We're going to go for that. Okay, quality assurance next. I think this room can maybe be a bit smaller. Five by five. Seems okay, and we're going to use this space as best we can. So then we're going to put the door down like that. Perfect. And in here we're also going to need a desk of some kind. We might as well also go for one of these just to increase the efficiency as much as we can, or at least the quality of work we're doing. So we're going to put one desk in there for now. Then in terms of the other rooms, we're going to need probably a research room again, because research is obviously a good thing to be doing. Uh, we could put down this over here. I'm wondering whether we should make research a bit bigger. It doesn't really matter, I suppose, too much. I say that, it's probably going to make a huge difference, isn't it? Well, I've got loads of space, so why not use the space efficiently? We're going to put down a room that's a bit like this. A 4x4, four four. that seems okay for research. I'm going to put a door down here. Now, I'm sure there are better ways of doing this, so don't hate me too much. We're also going to put down one of these desks. If we put it in the corner a little bit like this, there we go. And we're, of course, going to need to hire a load more employees for this. Now, there's a few other things that we're going to put down. It looks like we've unlocked a couple of other rooms, including marketing, which seems like a good idea. Got research. Head office would be okay. Purchase de dev kits, licenses, copy protections, and engines. We're going to need one of these for sure, because now we don't have our garage room. So maybe if we put down... Maybe 4 by or 5 by 3 4 by 3 5 Let's do 5 by 3 That seems good enough, right? Yeah, okay, fine. And we're going to put down a door over here like that. Look at this, it's like a proper development studio now. Well, almost. <laughs> we're still covering up the front doors, but look, we've still got another double door over here, so it doesn't matter too much. So in here, are there any, like, oh, there's head office stuff here, look at this. Oh, look, is this giving us a star rating? Okay, maybe we should just get a luxury desk. Just take the hit on the money, because then we might be able to get better star rating. Oh yeah, look at that, it's gone up massively. Fine, okay, head office, we don't need anything else in here. I'm wondering whether we need anything in particular for the rest of these. We could get a staff room. Let's have a little look. We just want to spend all the money we can on getting these good rooms. Get a training room, a staff room would be good. I think a staff room would be a good one. Training room, quality assurance, head office, research. I think we're definitely going to need research, aren't we? Have we already got research? I think we've already got research, haven't I? Yeah, I just put it down. What am I doing? Oh my god, Parky. You're so stupid. Toilets are definitely going to be a necessity, so let's put this down in maybe this place over here. We might as well keep the room formation in the same way. Maybe 3x3. Three three. I think 3x3 three three should be enough, right? 
We can always like delete the room if we need to. We'll put the door on here like that. I'm just trying to maximize the amount of space that we have. So the toilet, we're going to need some nice toilet furniture. I think possibly one of these in the very least. So we're going to put down this here. We're going to get... Oh, so this... E oh, all of these things increase our star rating. I see. Okay. We're going to go for a hand dryer on this wall. There we go. And then we're also going to go for a, a sink. Maybe on this wall over here. Yeah, that seems good. Are there any other things that we need to put down? Not really. Okay, what else have we got? We want a staff room. So let's get our staff room on. It's going to cost a lot of money. We're probably not going to be able to afford this unless we take another loan out, but that's okay. We might actually put the staff room over here if we can afford it. Four by three, that doesn't seem very much, does it? But we can't afford it anyway, so let's just get another one of our bank loans out. We're going to start, uh, we're going to start paying this off at some point, I promise. So let's get our staff room down. Now I'm thinking maybe the staff room is going to be a bit bigger. Maybe something like this, 4x4. Four four. That seems okay. And we're going to put down the door on this part right here, because we don't have much choice. Staff room furniture, we're going to have to get a few bits of this. Looks like it's not too expensive. We, I think we're just going to go for the high-end stuff. As many three-star things as we can. We'll go for a, a double snake arcade machine. There we go. We're also going to get a modern refrigerator, because why the hell not? We're going to put that next to the arcade machine so you can dip in for a snack. We're going to get one of these couches. Oh my god, it's massive. Okay, we're going to put this down over on this side here. Can we actually put it down there? It doesn't look like we can, does it? Is the room not big enough? Okay, the room is not big enough for this. If we can put down a smaller one of these, that'd be good. Oh god, these are all so big! Why are these so big? Oh, well, I suppose we can put down a smaller couch like that. We're on 37 stars now, which is a massive improvement on what we had before. So there we go. 41 stars. This is going to be a lot better. I'm going to say that we're going to be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a lot of people on development. We're going to put these three guys in here. We're going to put you in here as well, and we're also going to put you in here. So there are three developers. We're going to need some more people, possibly hiring a staff member for... Game design, we probably want office work. Maybe this guy, I suppose it doesn't really matter. He's, he's the most trained up. Let's hire this guy. We're going to put him in the head office. So there we go. Right, okay, what else do we need here? We're also going to need, uh, what is this, research and a, a bug tech tester. I suppose we can maybe get just one more guy to do both of those jobs. Let's hire another staff. You know, for programming and this lovely lady here. There we go. Can we hire her? Doesn't look like it. Why can't we hire her? Can we only hire a certain number of people? Ah, oh, right, okay. So we can't actually hire these people yet. Well, that's fine. At least we know now that we've got a max number of employees of four. So it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so here we go. Look at this. So what we're going to do is we're going to start creating a new game. And we're going to go for a retail game. It's going to be the topic... Maybe racing. Yeah, that sounds good. Racing game. Maybe wizards. Did we do wizards last time? I think we did. Okay, we're going to do racing game. We're also going to do a racing simulation game with the engine, Aki 2, and also the genre skill... No, arcade game. Yeah, look at this. Right, okay. Probably want to give the name the game a name, right? So, Epac Racing Game. Epi I can't think of a better name, that's fine. Okay, let's go for this. We're going to go for the personal computer. And as we've got the money for it, I think we're just going to spend loads of money on this game. It doesn't even matter anymore. We're going to put the graphics up. I'm going to follow these arrows. We're going to put it right to the top. Is that what it means? Just put it right to the top like that? Game length is probably going to be better. Atmosphere, I think it just says leave them alone. Select copy protection. We don't actually have any copy protection yet. We might as well buy some. I suppose the effectiveness of this would be quite good. 35,000? Yeah, sure. Okay, we're going to choose this. So in terms of all the other stuff, what is this? Fan letters, you're a Mongharu. What's this? Many fans are disappointed with the quality of you're a Mongharu. Okay, well, thank you very much for that game. That made me feel better about my efforts in creating games. And then everything else, I think this time what I'm going to do is I'm just literally going to leave it at 25% on everything. I'm going to see whether this works. One of you guys said I should just leave it on that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to overcomplicate things. It doesn't need it at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of joystick driver. We need to get rid of four more of these features. It's a shame we can't improve this at all. I don't know what we need in order to make this feature thing, feature support even bigger. 
Okay, so we're going to get rid of probably sprites. We probably don't need scripted AI either. We also can probably get rid of ah, parallax scrolling, multi-directional depth enabled scrolling, script, split screen multiplayer. Meh. Quite important for a, a racing game. Maybe get rid of the save game support. That doesn't really matter too much, does it? Okay, and then we'll get rid of one more feature, and it's probably going to be this one. Yeah, okay, fine. And then, after this, I think that's everything that we needed to select. So let's just speed this game up very quickly so we can get this developed and ready. Okay, this guy's just walking around. He just doesn't even know what to do anymore. Did I not put him in here? No, he, he just doesn't care. Okay, we're going to put him into the probably quality assurance room. I think that probably makes sense. We're going to improve the gameplay. We can remove bugs. Oh, improve gameplay. Interesting. Epic ra racing game? Game balance? Yeah. Okay. We'll increase we'll increase the game balance. I think that sounds like a good thing to do. Because balance is very important in games. You don't want to play a racing game where you just like enter god mode and then instantly win if you choose a single car over another one. Okay, so here we go. We're doing pretty well so far. Mad Game Awards has just come around. Are we going to get any of them? No. John Falcon, best soundtrack. Red Flame, best graphics. Game of the Year. Code 451. That is not helpful. I was really hoping that we'd get something cool. Well, let's now imp let's remove all the bugs that we have. Epic Racing Game. We might as well start this early on because it's only going to help us in the long term if we can get this game out really quickly. We're on minus 72,000, but I suppose we got to expect that considering we've just upgraded our office to the bigger place. I'm wondering how much of an impact it actually has having this uh, higher star rating. According to you guys, it seems to make a really big difference. So I don't know whether we're going to get really high scores on everything now. I suppose, at the very least, we've actually got three developers working on this at the same time. And we've got someone removing all the bugs at the same time as well. So, in that regard, I would imagine that it would actually make quite a big difference. We've actually got a new research genre now of interactive movie. So we can start making some Blizzard games. The work on this game has been completed. If you would like to continue working on the game, let's, let's continue working on the game. We want to remove all the bugs if we can. I'm wondering whether it would be worth getting another desk in here, just so that we can... Oh god, look how much money we don't have. Okay, maybe if... Oh, we don't even have enough money for this. Okay, well hopefully, if we do a bit of contract work, we can start figuring this out. But in the meantime, I was going to say, if we have another desk in here, we can grab one of these developers in here, just to get rid of all these bugs as quickly as we can. How many times did I say in here in that sentence? Probably far too much. Let's not participate in this year's Game Awards. Be nice to get a few more fans coming in, but at the same time, we just can't afford it. Until I can take another... Maybe a bit of contract work. There's two pieces here that we can take. I imagine that the contract work gets a bit more... impressive, like you get paid more the more of it you do on the higher level you are. But until we can do that, we've only got 18 bugs left, so we don't have to wait around too long. Minus 200,000. It's quite a lot of money, and actually with all the money that we're spending on these new employees, and also the business premises itself, we're losing about 20000 per month, which is a lot of money. Do you think that literally goes every time this comes around? Four times. Which does not take a long time when you're on fastest uh, game speed. Okay, so three bugs left, got some better copy disk protection. Bugs, two bugs... Let's just release it. I can't be all its way. Okay. There we go. It's probably not going to make a difference anyway. Who even cares? Got the improvement of the balancing. We've got 336 on this, 139 on that. Why is that red? Is that bad? Is green good? Or is that just the colour of that thing? It looks like it's just the colour of it. Okay, well, that's fine. I think we're going to go for arcade. And we're also going to hopefully... Yes, look at this. No other games have the same genre, and no games have the same theme. Let's hopefully do a bit better on this one. I've seen better graphics, very mediocre. The sound is very bad. It makes my ears hurt. The control is too complex. They should have improved this. A really bad game, avoid at all costs. Well, at least we didn't get the worst game of the year. I think this is the best we've actually done. Thankfully, good genre combination as well, which is only going to help to boost our game sales, hopefully, and also our score slightly. Okay, let's see how this does. It's cost us a lot of money, and we're not doing very well. So hopefully it's going to do something. There's a lot of contract work here, not worth that much, but hopefully we can regain some of the money that we've lost, especially with three developers working on it at the same time. I would imagine we'd get it done pretty quickly. Okay, we've not got any of the Mad Game Awards again, which is not really helpful. We're going to slow this down a little bit, because there's no point going super fast when we don't need to. Let's do another bit of contract work. We're just going to keep doing these until we regain a bit of our money, because, my God, we definitely need it. Now, how's this doing? We've sold over 16,000. It's not doing that well. 
Of course it isn't. Why would it do well? My studio has made it. Best Gams for You has never created a gam that is good for you. So I don't know what I was really expecting. Were you expecting me to do particularly well? Because I certainly wasn't. Not after all the previous experience I've had with this game. But it's fine. Don't complain about it. It's, it's, it's my fault. If anyone's to blame, it's me. So let's do some more contract work. Hopefully some more of this will come about soon. Just don't know how we can actually get this done that's, like, particularly good. We could buy another dev kit. Are any of these particularly high market shares yet? 12.7% the game joy. Wow, okay. Well, we could get one of those. It's not particularly high game market share. We could also get maybe a new engine. This one has got 24 stars, so we can improve from 14, which I think is the one we're on at the moment. It's going to cost 50,000 though, so we're going to have to get into the green again. Out of the red. Out of the red into the black, as they say. We've, we've borrowed so much money, I can't ever see us paying this back. But you know what, it doesn't matter. Our credit limit is 9 million, so we can borrow another 8 million if we want to. The monthly interest is going to screw us over slightly. So we want to avoid borrowing if we can, obviously. Have we done all this contract work now? We haven't, and that game is still selling. We're almost 30,000. I'd really like it if we could get 30,000, but I think the likelihood is that we're really not going to. So we just got to prepare. Oh no, we have! Okay, so each week brings about a new wave of interest in the game, which I don't think is how it works in real life. Everyone gets to Monday morning, they're like, God damn it, I really need to get that Epic Racing game. I feel like I'm missing out. Okay, well, we've obviously not done that well. Made a bit of money back. I think we've made about 100,000 by the looks of things. But either way, this seems like a good place to leave this episode. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. Leave me more tips and hints in the comment section below also as to what I could do better to improve my game score. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.